Welcome to the Indonesian Revolution. Indonesia. However, with itself getting pushed on all fronts, fronts Japan, the J- Japan allowed Indonesia to gain independence. Indonesia, having suffered from colonizers for hundreds of years, gladly wanted independence. At August 17, 1945, Indonesia began a proclamation of independence. And at this point, Japan had been defeated. But wait, Indonesia was ruled by the Dutch. The Dutch were rulers of Indonesia for a long time, until in, ni- until in the 1940s, Japan invaded the Dutch East Indies. But after their defeat, Indonesia was given to the Dutch. This, this led to the Indonesian War of Independence. Indonesia began many attacks through areas, and eventually the most famous battle would come, the Battle of Surabaya. The Battle of Surabaya was one of the most toughest battles the Dutch had to face, but the Dutch had won. However, this battle showed the world, Indonesia's valiant and and their bravery, that they were not going to surrender until they died. The Dutch began the first military aggression in 1947, and and it was another victory for the Dutch. The UN did not like what was happening, and so they made them sign the Renville Agreement in nineteen in January of 1948. But literally, not even a year later, the Dutch began their be, the the agreement was broken, and the Dutch launched another offensive known as the Second Dutch Military Aggression. Indonesia lost again. The aftermath of the war, Indonesia began the general march attack with bamboos. And no, I am not kidding. They attacked with bamboos. And they lost again. But this, but, this was going to take a nasty turn for the Dutch. America. The United States of America, seeing this war happening, happening, the relations, with the relations with the Dutch soured. America even threatened the Dutch that if they won't let Indonesia independent, they will cut off all aid for World War II. Eventually, the Dutch left the area, but still had problems. Thank you.